Hey everyone, uh, today I will be teaching you how to perform Theory 11's new trick, which is called Sleeper. Uh, first off, it's not really that new, um, it's just a rising card effect, but it has a new gimmick um, designed by Owen O'Hare. And so uh, I'll teach you how to make it in this video. And so, first off, you will need uh, three cards. I already made one, uh, this is what it'll look like but we'll make another one because uh, I had some technical difficulties. So first off, you'll need a force card. Um, so we'll go with the, the king. I like the king. Okay, let's see if I can focus in on that. There we go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the king as my force card. So what I mean by force card is just choose any card you feel comfortable forcing on the spectator. And then the other two you don't really have to worry about. So these other two you're just gonna leave on the side and you'll actually uh, cut this one up a little bit. Um, as for materials, besides the cards, you can either use tape or rubber cement, and you can use a knife or scissors, and you'll need some string like I have over there. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, just to make it quick, I'll be using the tape over the rubber cement because it is quicker, but if you want the best quality, like Theory 11 production quality, you'll want to use uh, rubber cement or some other type of glue and then uh, I'll be using scissors because they're more efficient than a knife but if all you have is a knife you can use a knife it'll work okay so we're gonna start off for the king uh, use a border card one second so you're gonna want to use a border card like this we have a white border it doesn't really matter so most decks will work just nothing like a the B could B deck or you know something like that and you're gonna want to start off by cutting this red rectangle out it doesn't have to be perfect but just just you want to cut off the white border okay and I'll fast forward it so you don't have to watch this Okay, so uh, now we've cut out this piece. You're going to need a U-shaped piece of the border like this, and you'll be left with this um, end of the card. And this part we'll throw away. We don't need this, so I'll cut that off. One second. Let's cut this off. So ideally you'll have a red border. You can just say this is a bridge sized bicycle card and if anybody asks. And then I like to use a court card. So you see the, the K doesn't really get cut off a whole lot. You can still make out what it is. It's better than a number card like the five. Um, so the court cards work better. Uh, King is the best. So if, if you can, use a king. If you really do want to use a different card, if you're comfortable forcing a different card, then you could use that and just, uh, I like to say it's a printing defect or it's a bridge size card, whatever you want, just for justification. Now what you're gonna do with the other two cards is you're gonna get this U piece that you cut off. You're gonna put it in over here like that. Okay, now if you have uh, glue, this is where you want to glue the edges and then stick it on. But I found that before we do that, we'll just cut off a little bit from the ends on the inside as it'll make uh, putting the card in and out easier. So I'm going to cut off a little bit. This can be eyeballed because this will not be seen uh, by you, the magician, or the spectator. So it doesn't really matter just to cut some of the excess paper off as to make loading the card in easier, which I'll show you once I'm done with this. And then I'll fast forward the other side as well. Okay. 
Okay. So now we have the thin, thin borders. That'll make it much easier for loading the card. I'm just going to put that on here. And if you want, you can put... Uh, if you're doing the adhesive, then just glue it down as you normally would. But for locking these pieces on, uh, you can put a little piece of tape so these uh, edges don't really move. Don't put too much tape, otherwise uh, it will jam it up. But a little bit won't hurt the design. So just put this piece on here. And I'll put one on the bottom too. And we should be good to go for the next step. The next step, you'll put a lot of adhesive or a lot of tape. Uh, you can use tape if you're on the go. I mean, you won't have the person like, inspecting the deck too heavily, so you can hide, you can ditch the gimmick later on. And let me peel off some more tape for the outside. So what you're going to do is, now that you have the border uh, on the outside, let me zoom in for you so you can get a quick look. You're going to have, you're going to have this sticking out like that. So you have some space. You can have some space in between this top card and the bottom card. Okay, let me zoom out. Might be a little dark because this camera is a little different, doesn't manually change color. Okay, so uh, let me peel off some more pieces of tape and I'll be right back.